I've got the best settings in NBA 2K24. There are a lot of brand new settings in this game, and in this video I'm going to be breaking down all the new settings as well as every setting in general for all modes. That way you guys can have the most optimal settings and you can dominate in every single game mode. Let's hop into it. All right, so the first thing you guys want to do is head to your normal game settings, and you are going to want to, of course, turn off camera shake. This is just a very annoying feature that's in the game, and it's going to make your experience a lot better. And the next thing you're going to want to do is turn your shot feedback to all shots. For whatever reason, this is not on by default on 2K, and by turning this on, every single shot that is taken in the game, whether it's by you, your teammates, or your opponent, there is going to be a shot feedback that pops up in the top left letting you know the type of coverage on the shot your timing and how far away from the basket your shot was this is a very important setting to have for many reasons maybe you're playing defense and you want to see how well your contest against the opponent was and it's going to literally tell you if it was like 30 percent covered 40 percent covered it's going to let you know their timing and then maybe you're playing with no meter and you want to see how close you were to getting an excellent release. Maybe your shot timing is way off, and by having the shot feedback on, you are going to have that feedback so that way you know how to adjust. Now for the next setting, you guys are going to want to head over to your controller settings and you are going to want to make sure your shot timing is on shots and layups. Normally in years past, I would recommend just having it on jump shots, but in this year's game, layup timing gives you such a boost and it's so much easier to time than years past. You can see right here, this on Hall of Fame difficulty and you can see just how big that green window is on that layup. It's almost taking up the entire meter. Now, obviously, when you guys are contested, that window is going to be a little bit smaller, but by having that on, you are going to get a major boost to your chance to make layups, especially in traffic. All right, now for the next setting, and this is one of the most important settings in the game to understand, it is brand new to the game and it's called Shot Timing Visual Cue. This is going to let you choose at what point in the jump shot you want to release your shot. So for example, right now we have it on push, and as you can see, when we release the shot, he is pushing the ball. So now I'm going to put it on release, for example, and this is gonna be kind of like very late from last year. This is gonna be when he's literally releasing the ball. So it's a little bit longer of a timing. It's not changing the jump shot speed. It is just changing when we are releasing the shot. So once again, I wanna remind you guys, this is not changing the jump shot speed. It is just changing when you are actually letting go of your shot button. So as you can see right here, we put it on jump, and this is when you release it when he jumps. So as you guys can see, it's a quicker release on the control controller but the actual jump shot animation does not change we're just releasing it earlier because we want our cue to be when he jumps so this really all comes down to preference every single jump shot i think has a better cue to set the jump shot to so you guys are going to want to put this on whatever you think is most uh universal for you if you play play now and then if you play park you guys want to make sure that this is set to whatever cue you want to be looking at for your jump shot in the park. Now, as you can see, that one was set point, and that is when he is at his set point for the jump shot. So personally, my two favorites are push and release. I think these are the two best ones. Those are like late and very late from last year. But whatever you guys prefer and whatever goes best with your jump shot, as I said, that's what you want to set it to. But I think universally, if you're a play now or my team guy, you want to have it set to release. All right, now for the jump shot meter, you guys are going to want to turn this off if you are playing my park and you are used to your jump shot. That's because you get a 20% boost to your green window if you have it off. If you have it on, you get to see where to release the shot, of course, so you don't get as big of a boost to your green window. The layup meter, I suggest leaving this on. If you can't see when to release your layup, it's going to be really hard because every single layup has vastly different timing, so leave that on. Shot meter input type put this on all shot meter style put this on whatever you prefer if you use the meter i really like arrow this year so that's the favorite one that i use and then for shot meter location i like it to the side but this year you can change it around to wherever you want it's a new feature in the game you can have it to your feet to your side above your head and then another cool feature is you can actually change the size of your meter you can make it medium large or small and you can also change the color of your shot meter like we were able to in past two k's the next setting I like to change is the perfect release location. Now this is preference, but I like how it was last year where the green shows above your player's head. So if you guys want this as well, that's a setting that you change. Now back to the important settings. So scroll down to your pro stick function and you guys are going to want to have this on default. Now I'll show you the difference. If you have it on dribble moves, basically 
no matter what, you can hold your right stick in any direction and you are just going to do dribble moves. It will not go into any type of jump shot, layup, any type of right stick shot will not work. If you have it on shots, then you cannot do dribble moves with the right stick. It'll only do shots like so. Now, if you have it on default, of course, you'll be able to do dribble moves by flicking the right stick and then by holding the right stick in any direction, you will get right stick shots, whether it's hop shots, spin shots, whatever the case may be. Now, going back into the settings, the next thing you guys are going to want to do is scroll down and you're gonna wanna head to pro stick orientation. Make sure you keep this on absolute. This makes it so your dribble moves are the exact same functions no matter where you are on the court. So for example, if you wanna do a crossover and you're in the right corner, you just flick the stick to the left or right depending on your ball hand. And then if you're in the middle of the court, it's the exact same. You flick your stick to the left or right depending on your ball hand. So by keeping it on absolute, when you flick your right stick, it's the same exact dribble moves no matter where you are on the court. And it's not based on the direction that your character is facing. Off ball offense mode, keep that on absolute. Double team reaction, keep this on auto. And of course, that's more for play now and my team players. Help defense button function. You want this on double team. Do not have it on call for help. Again, this is for guys who play 5v5. Call for pick and roll versus fade, keep that on manual. Player icons on, skip pass enabled. This is where when you hold the pass button, it throws it over the nearest person to you, which is basically a skip pass, of course. Now for pro stick pass type, this is one I really like to change. I like to put this on flashy. Now what this does is it makes it so when you bring up your icons with R1 or RB and you flick your right stick towards the person you wanna to pass to, it always does a flashy pass. I like this because it gives you more control over when you do a flashy pass because I don't like double tapping buttons. I don't like doing the double tap circle. So that's personally why I like to have that on flashy. Receiver control. Now this is one that not a lot of people know about and this one is really nice to have if you're playing in my career my team play now and what this does is it allows you to actually take full control over your off ball players so what i like to do is i like to put this on full receiver control for icon passing and receiver control by putting this on full receiver control what you do is you bring up your icons and then you hold down the icon of the person you want to control and then while your original player is dribbling you're able to control the off ball movements of that icon you're holding down you can bring them towards the ball you could do a dex and and try to get open for a shot like you see there you could have them cut to the rim so this is a really cool hidden feature in the settings that not many people know about and i think that it is very important to have on especially when you're going up against guys who are playing off ball defense now the next setting that you guys are want to make sure you have on is who to guard shading indicator you want your pro stick defense on absolute and then defensive assist strength you want to play around with this every single year it gets changed a lot sometimes it doesn't really do anything at all and then in other years it helps a lot now by putting on 100 i did notice that my defense was a little more stickier but try this out for yourself and let me know in the comments what works best for you now for the final setting this is going to be the past target profile i like to keep this on default but I will show you what this does. I do not believe this works in online modes anymore, but it used to be where if you put this on openness, whenever you press the pass button, it'll automatically throw to whatever player on the court is most open. Obviously there's risk reward with this, but this was used and abused in online modes such as rec and pro-am because whenever guys would run five out as soon as someone would drop off to play help defense they didn't know, need to know their teammates icons and they would just press x and would throw to the open receiver so if you guys want to utilize this in offline modes definitely turn that up if you guys found this video helpful be sure to drop a like comment down below what you guys want to see next and subscribe and turn on notice so you don't miss a thing this is boy breeze i'm signing out peace